It's time for this week's View from the Sideline. Here's Brian Birchfield. It's time for this week's View from the Sideline. Joining me this week, junior quarterback and linebacker, Hunter Jenkins. Hunter, how you doing, buddy? Good. How you doing? Good. I appreciate you coming and spending a few minutes with us on this week's View from the Sideline. You had a great game last week against Teleco. We selected you our Domino's player of the game in that 17-8 to victory. Uh, tell us how you think you played in that game. Um, defensively, I feel like uh, I played uh, the best I've played defense this season. Offensively, I feel like we struggled at some points, but we still pulled out with a win. Why do you think you struggled in that game? Is it what Teleco was doing, or was it an execution thing on you all side? What was it? Um, when we had a big play – We'd follow that big play with a penalty, so we need to work on uh, correcting our mistakes after a big play. That was a big win. It seems like uh, every time Sweetwater and Teleco play, it's a hard-nosed game, and it was certainly that way again, wasn't it? Yes, sir. And, Hunter, this has kind of been a different season for you uh, in a scrimmage in preseason. You uh, broke a bone in your ankle area, and it caused you to miss uh, the first four weeks of the season. Just talk about that and how frustrating and disheartening that was for you to get hurt before the season even started. Um, well, it was it was a little frustrating, but um, uh, setting out those first three games, I got to work. I got to work with Riley a little bit and watch the quarterback position a little bit more and really just learn more about the game. Even though I couldn't do anything on the sidelines playing wise, I could still help the team by watching film and stuff. Well, tell us some things that maybe you learned by having to sit and watch and not actually being out there. Uh, I learned that um, usually when we sprint to the two receiver side, back side we don't really look that much. But now, watching those first uh, three games, the back side really is a lot open a lot more when you sprint away. So I learned that, and uh, my carrying fakes out and stuff really helps. Tell us exactly what the injury was and how it happened. I was playing defense. I went to make a tackle. I got rolled up, I broke a bone in my lower leg, and I broke a bone on the top of my foot uh, 12 plays into a scrimmage. Quick recovery, though. I mean, you only missed uh, you know, three games, and then had the bye week, and then you got back in second half of the Brainerd game. So you, you healed up pretty quick, didn't you? Uh, yes. Uh, the bye week really helped out a lot because I got out of the boot the bye week, and the whole bye week, instead of practicing, I got to do therapy. So that really prepared me for the Brainerd game because I could practice the Brainerd week instead of uh, doing therapy. So you got back in there, uh, second half, played quite a bit down there at Brainerd. Tell us how long it took you to knock the rust off and get back to game speed. Um, it was it was a little sore after a Brainerd game. and uh, It really wasn't that my leg hurt. It was more that it hurt me that I couldn't play both sides of the ball. Yeah because I was so used to playing both sides of the ball. But, you know, I understood that I needed to take it slow. That way I didn't re-injure myself. And now you're back at 100% starting linebacker and doing a lot on the offensive side of the football. Uh, do you feel 100%, feel like you're back where you need to be? Yeah, I've felt 100% the last few weeks. It, uh, in the first games back, I was at about 80 the first, against Brainerd and then 90 around there uh, after the Brainerd game. But I feel like I'm 100% now. Hunter Jenkins, our guest on this week's View from the Sideline. Now, obviously, that injury kind of set your season back, but now that you're in there full speed, uh, how do you feel your game has improved this season as a football player? Um, well, I feel like my pa- uh, passing last year wasn't really that strong for me. I was more of a running quarterback. But this year, I feel like I've evened it out a little bit. I mean, uh, I had 200-plus yards against Red Bank. And I also had 200-plus yards uh, last week against Teleco Mm -hmm. passing the ball. So I feel like uh, I've improved there. And defensively, just uh, at linebacker, learning more of um, scraping over the top of blocks, uh, being more physical on defense. You're definitely a a dual-threat quarterback. When you're out there, you're just as much apt to run as throw. What do you prefer to do? You run that quarterback power a lot. Do you like to get in there and, and rough people up? Carrying the football, or would you rather sit back and throw it? Well, I, I like running behind my big guys, uh, Bishop, Yogi, Maro, Hoovy, and uh, Jeff. I like running behind them. They're real good set linemen. We've mentioned you playing that linebacker on the defensive side of the ball, and last week uh, you played just as well on that side of the ball as you did offense. Talk about 
playing linebacker. Do you really enjoy that? Uh, yeah, I like uh, I like contact. I like being in close. So tell us, uh, you're doing well on both sides. Which side do you prefer to play if you had to pick one? Uh, I'd prefer defense just because it's the more physical side of the ball, uh, more contact, flying to the ball. I like it. So tell us uh, out there before the play, linebacker, what are some things that you're trying to read and understand and see how their team's lined up before the play starts? Um, well, Coach Martin really, he sets us up uh, every week really well with uh, setting up formations. And when they were in a certain formation, um, we know what play they'd run, especially with Teleco running the wing tee. Uh, very few passing plays that you can run out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but with the running, you know, we'd have a slant to the motion or um, – if there was a certain guy in the backfield, we knew what was going to happen because of uh, Coach Martin. He sets us up real well. A lot of guys on the defensive side have said that this year about Coach Martin and you guys feeling prepared uh, every week. Uh, what are some things you guys do specifically each week to get prepared for that team coming up that Friday? Well, Monday we watch film on whatever team we're playing that week, and then he'll take us outside. He'll have a scout team. And he'll set them up in every formation that that team could possibly be in that he has seen. And we'll line up to it. Tuesday, we'll go out full pads, full contact to it. Same formations that they'll run. Wednesday, shells, sometimes full pads. And we'll do the same thing the whole week. Thursday, we'll walk back through it and make sure we know what we're doing. Friday, we'll go out there and execute what he's uh, told us got to really help your confidence going into the game getting there playing if you feel like you know what the other team's going to do don't it yes sir sweetwater junior hunter jenkins our guest on this week's view from the sideline hunter uh, tonight you have signal mountain a senior night a big region contest you guys come into the game six and three overall but two and two in the region now uh, signal mountain three and six overall but they're two and two in the region so this is a, a big contest for playoff seating you guys talked about how important this game is tonight. Yes, this uh, this is really really important. Uh, Coach Martin said that either way, we're guaranteed another week. It's just how hard we want to go out there and play. He believes that, well, not only him but the entire team, I believe, believes that we can go deep into the playoffs if we uh, play to our full potential. Tell us a little bit about Signal Mountain and what we can expect to see out there tonight. Well, they're uh, almost the complete opposite of uh, Teleco. They like to spread you out, throw the ball. They have uh, two really good wide receivers. Quarterback's also pretty good, um, and they like to they like to air it out. So you mentioned earlier at linebacker, you like to be physical. Now playing a passing team tonight, that may eliminate some of your ability to be physical. You're going to play coverage quite a bit tonight, aren't you? Um, yes, sir. You prepared to do that? You in shape to stay in coverage? Yeah, um, our, us and our DBs. Uh, We've been practicing uh, coverage mostly this week, where, where last week we were doing uh, more like inside drill. This week we're doing more on 7-on-7 uh, seven seven type practice. What are some things that uh, Coach Martin, that defensive staff, teach you guys about coverage when you're covering a guy? What are some things that they're telling you to focus on? Well, um, at linebacker, it's usually we're in a zone usually, so it's just who get whoever comes in your zone. But this week we've also put in a man, so – Basically, just don't let them beat you inside, stay on that hip, and then uh, locate the football when it's thrown. Hunter, besides the physical contact of playing football, what do you enjoy about being a Sweetwater Wildcat? Um, As friends, uh, my friends also play football. Um, When you come together on a football field, you're more than friends. It's a family. Um, Coach, he's not your uh, teacher. He's He's your family member also same with coach martin and all the other coaches we're all a big family out there and that's what really holds the team uh together is that family bond and it's a lot different than just being on any other sport like golf you don't have a family that's just a one player with uh football you have to have all 11 on the field as a, a team as a family playing together to to win after a game, do you spend all week replaying that week's previous game, or do you spend your time thinking about what's the game coming up? Uh, when Monday morning, when you go to school Monday morning, you start focusing on the other team. Um, you can spend the weekend thinking about the what happened Friday, but Monday my focus is on the next team that we play. 
uh, Friday afternoon rolls around, uh, class lets out, you start getting in uh, game mode. How do you get yourself prepared, and do you have butterflies before that game starts? Uh, just walk us through your emotions before the game starts. Well, we have a pregame meal. Everybody eats at uh, around 3.30. Um, so you listen to your music, you go eat, you come back, you got meetings, go over the game plan. Then you sit in your locker for 30 to an hour, and you just sit there and listen to music, get in the zone. And then you go out to warm up. When you're warming up, that's when my butterflies kick mm-hmm. in. Then we go back in. We have a prayer. Coach Borf does a devotional type thing. And then when I go back out, the butterflies are gone when we go back out. So really, the butterflies are just there in warm-ups. That Sweetwater Junior, Hunter Jenkins, our guest on this week's View the Sideline. Hunter, great game last week. Thank you for your time, and here's to hoping you have a great game again tonight against Signal Mountain. Thank you. You've been listening to The View from the Sideline. The Fairweather Financial Pregame Show is coming up next.